Hi everyone, Rose here with The Cackling Moon. This is going to be um, a love reading for a client. Um, and this particular client um, is has been dating a couple, or oh, a couple, <laughs> has been dating um, a certain someone. Um, and they are just curious to see the energies revolving around them and this person. Um, as well as if this is something that is going to grow into something more. Is this something that has just kind of been a fling? Um, because they are starting to have a little bit of a, um, I don't want to say like second guess, but they are just feeling, so feeling like something's off. And so they just want to see what the cards have to say. Um, I really was like struggling with what, um, what deck I wanted to use for your reading because I wanted to switch it up a little bit and I was really trying to think what kind of an energy does this client give me? And um, it was funny because I was thinking of like, you know, I wanted something vibrant, but something very like kind of otherworldly. Um, and so I decided to go with the, uh, what, what card, what deck are you called? <laughs> um, oh man, I can't even think of the, the dreams of Gaia. That's what it is. The Dreams of Gaia Tarot, which is a really beautiful deck. It's otherworldly. It is, it's just, it's gorgeous. And the colors are just so vibrant. So I felt like that was perfect for you. I don't know why. I just felt that energy was great. Um, and so I'm going to be working with the Dreams of Gaia for you. And then I'm also going to be pulling um, some Lenormand cards from the Gilded Reverie Lenormand. Um, so I don't read Lenormand like the way you're supposed to read it. I just pull to read intuitively. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. But I just thought that that would be a nice little addition for your reading. Um, and you know what? Let me see if I have... I don't really have another Oracle deck here, but I could use my um, Oracle of Oddities just to have like some specifics because the Lenormand might not be specific, but we'll see what happens. So, so we're basically going to be reading about the energies of this person that this, um, that you were dating and is this something that's going to grow and, you know, are your feelings of maybe something's off with this person? Um, are you, you know, is it true? And let's just see what happens. But I will say this, I'm glad to hear that you are dating. Um, that makes me happy. Because I know I've read for you a few times before. And so I'm just glad that you are dating. And um, I'm happy for you about that. I also chose the Lenormand cards for you because they're they're also very strong um, in their imagery and um, I don't know I just felt called like to mix it with the dreams of Gaia so we'll see if my intuition works <laughs> as far as like picking the right deck I like to sit with my client and think like the energy of their question that they ask you know what deck oh here we go okay so we'll just use that what deck um, is going to be perfect for them. And the Oracle of Oddities really doesn't fit the aesthetic that I was going with with these other two decks, but um, I feel like, you know, because the Lenormand doesn't have the, the prompts on them, we just, we'll just pull from an Oracle just to get it, so. This one wants to come out. Let's put that on top. Okay, so let's just start pulling. Um, move my stuff over. I have so much on my table. Okay, let's see what we've got regarding the situation. So we have the youth, king of fire, the ace of air, knowledge, Five of air, the 
masculine, feminine. Um, you also have to forgive me because this deck is very different in the way that it works if, uh, as according to the tarot. So I'm trying to read it out loud so that you can hear it. But if you ever, if you own or if anyone owns the Dreams of Gaia, you'll know it's a little different. Um, the Three of Fire, the Nine of Earth. Queen of Fire, Four of Water, Three of Earth. Okay, um, right off the bat, I'm feeling like this person that you are dating a little bit more, um, either they're younger or they have that younger mentality, like that, their personality, because you got the youth card, um, and they, they come off either as younger than you or they are younger than you or they're a little bit more immature and you are more of the voice of reason in the combo, okay? <laughs> Whereas you are, you maybe you feel a little bit more um, like you're the adult in the situation. They tend to, you know, go off on a tangent when they're talking. They can, you know, they're, they're all over the place. They're not as established as you may be. Um, so that's one thing I'm seeing with this person. Um, the other thing is they're crossed with the king of fire. So either they are having struggles and challenges with being very passionate in the things that they are doing. They don't own up to a lot of the stuff that they have going on in their life. They don't hold themselves accountable. It's kind of like they float around everywhere, but they don't have a lot of the drive and motivation as you may have regarding certain you know, things in life or certain goals that you might have, they don't have that. So that might be like where you feel a little bit of a rockiness between you two because you feel, I feel more established. I feel like I have a lot more, um, there's a, there's more goals in mind. You're more goal oriented in your energy. Whereas this person seems to be giving you the vibe of like they float all over the place. Okay. Um, the other thing I want to say is the king of fire could also be an ex lover that this individual might have. Um, that is still around in their life or still pops up from time to time. So that could be another issue that may um, pop up later on in the future. Um, so if you haven't had that conversation about ex-lovers, if you haven't had that conversation about, you know, some people can be friends with their exes and there's no there's no issue. But other people, it's like they would like to, but it always just causes problems. So um if you haven't already noticed that, perhaps maybe this will pop up later on or that is a conversation to have with this individual to see where, how, you know, how do they place their ex-lovers? Do their ex-lovers still play a prominent role in their life or do they call it quits and that's completely, it's over? So that might be another um, another little issue that maybe you're tapping into intuitively that you're feeling, you know, Maybe this person doesn't completely call it quits with their exes and they think it's okay to still talk to them even though we're dating. So it's it's kind of like where are your boundaries and what are, where are their boundaries? Their boundaries might be very different from yours. Um, so like I'm saying, the energy that I'm feeling with this person is very flighty, um, very like all over the place. Um, and it's funny because on either end, they have a lot of earth which is to me would usually signify someone who needs to ground. Um, but I'm feeling intuitively that this person struggles with um, putting both feet firmly on the ground and being grounded to make major decisions. So they will, they will escape when they feel the going gets rough. And that's what I'm seeing on either end. Um, for the Ace of Earth, Ace of Earth is usually a really good card. It's a card of abundance. It's a card of planting your seeds for growth. It's the beginning, right? But this is in the past. Um, and in the past for this person, I'm feeling, feeling like it's maybe they've had a lot of starts, like fresh starts. They've had a lot of opportunities, but nothing came out of it. Um, the knowledge card in the future is telling me like this person has a lot of lessons to still learn, which is really one of the reasons why, aside from the youth card, was one of the reasons why I was feeling like this person is um, a little bit more immature than other people you've dated or yourself. So they just have a little bit more growing to do in life. They have a little bit more to learn. Um, but that's what I'm seeing there. Um, and then below them, like this is basically for the two of you. So what I'm seeing with the two of you is um, there is an even balance of masculine and feminine, okay? So 
you have that even balance between you two, that exchange in your relationship, if that is important to you guys. Um, there is, you know, a lot of passion but I feel like there has been a lot of concealing of, um, <laughs> of of stuff that goes on in your mind. And I'm feeling this is more you. So I'm looking at the five of air. I'm really drawn to the fact that she's holding another mask and she has her eyes covered. So I'm really feeling like is she holding, is this just a mask or is this another face that she has that she's concealing so it's kind of like are you hiding a lot of yourself to this person have you not really gone deep with this person has it been a shallow dating for the last few times that you guys have gone out has it just been shallow very like superficial on the surface um are you putting on a mask you know to put to cover up who you really are. That's another question I have for you because um it's interesting that that came up, especially because in the email you had mentioned that you feel like you can't be 100% you or that you're you know, you're not you're not completely opening up. So that's why I'm feeling this is totally you. It's like you are um masking yourself. And when you're dating someone for the first time, you really don't want to do that. I mean, we te we all tend like as as a woman, I you know, when, when I'm first dating a man or when I was first dating my husband, you know, I would always put makeup on and do get all done up and wear the cute, the cute dress and the shoes and everything. And then of course, as we've been dating and then we got married and now 10 years later, it's like, um, I still put on makeup and everything, but I don't feel like I have to completely like frou frou myself up just to get his attention. So it it does change, but I feel like when you are first seeing someone, the the last thing you should be doing is putting on another face. You know what I mean? Like putting on a fake face, um, not hiding or hiding yourself completely. You know. If you feel like you have to do that, is it because of protection? Do you feel like you are protecting yourself? And I feel intuitively, I feel like it is a protective mechanism for you. It's you guarding yourself um, because you're not 100% with this person and because you don't want to get hurt. So that's what I'm feeling with that. Um, what else do I want to point out? The journey here, um, the three of fire which he's very much associated with the fire. Um, I feel like he is that type of person where if it doesn't get, if it, if, it, if he's not noticing that it's going great for him, um, if he, you know, they're, they're feeling like you're not doing enough for me. Um, I'm out. They will pick up and leave right away. So this is their energy. That's why I'm feeling like they have a very flighty energy to them. Um, I'm really drawn to the fact that this gentleman here has um <laughs> his bags packed almost like the fool card um kind of like this person will pick up and go whenever they feel like they're they're they are no longer needed or wanted in a situation um they will walk away and they won't look back so it's kind of like get prepared for something like that 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 kind of energy especially if you're not feeling aligned with this person after a while they may just pick up and go and you know maybe that will be easier for you because you won't feel so attached they will kind of do the detaching process for you so that could be a good thing but then it, it also sucks too to have a person that will just be willing to pick up and leave and it's like you got to pick up the trash after them <laughs> um and then after that we have the nine of earth which is like, I feel like this is, this is, this is the sign she's saying, like, give it a chance, give it some time, give it a chance, nourish the situation. I love how she's holding like this. To me, it looks like a bowl of soup, but I know it's not. <laughs> I'm probably just saying that because I'm hungry, but, um, it's like, she's holding this, you know, whatever this is, but it's, I feel like she just has that feeling of like, give it a chance, give it some time, give it some love, give it some nourishment, um, see where it goes. Okay. Before you start start planning your escape give it some time and if you still notice that you were feeling very much like your five of error here like you got to put on the mask and you got to fake it up then you know it's not worth your while so the other cards here are kind of like outcome cards that I pulled we have the queen of fire okay so I'm feeling like this really resembles you you are very much um fully engulfed in your own projects you have a lot going on in your own life 
you don't need someone to put that fire out okay so it's very important to you that you and I feel like you know that you know it's important for you to make sure that whoever you have in your life as a significant other or just someone you're dating that they don't put your fire out that's one that's one thing for you to know if it's if this person is worth your time or not um we have the four of water and I love this because <laughs> I feel like the four of water is like showing like he's all into himself. He's looking at himself like this is a this is a mirror here or whatever. He's looking at himself. It's like I, I you know, I I'm amazing. So I feel like it's like the cards are kind of showing um as far as like settling down with another person, this I don't feel this is that person. Um I feel like this is more of a superficial relationship um I feel like there's gonna be more so I, I the, the fact that this card came up is really making me feel like yeah it's it's a, more of a superficial it's a fun relationship you're just hanging out you're getting to know each other you're going out on dates whatever blah 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 but there's no strings attached um and then we have the three of earth which is like oh it's beautiful because it's like that that image of planting the seeds um again the three and the three um, where the three for me is showing that he's more flighty. He's not ready to settle down with anyone. Um, the three for you is showing you're ready to plant seeds. You're ready for it to plant seeds. You're ready for growth. So you are more so in the mindset of, I want, I'm looking for long-term love. I'm looking for someone that I could settle down with. Um, whereas this person is definitely not showing up as that. This person is ready for more adventure. He's in the full realm or, you know, he's ready to go on the next best thing. So do I see this as being aligned? No, I don't feel that this is going to be a match that will last for quite some time. I feel like, you know, giving it a chance or, you know, enjoying the moment is important. But do I feel like this is a relationship that's going to bloom long term? It really, it depends more so on him because I feel like if he is ready to kind of say, you know what, I can settle down. I don't have to be the drifter. I don't have to be wandering and looking for the next thing. I don't have to be flighty. I could sit down and, you know, have breakfast with you, have dinner and, and with you, and I don't have to worry about where I'm going tomorrow. Like, this person can change. And yes, it can go into the direction that you want it to. But is this person ready for that? Or is this person, you know, still kind of in a different mindset? So that's kind of where you have to gauge it yourself because only you know you're, you're the one that's dating this person. Um, but if you're seeing the signs around them and that's leading to that, that's, you know, that's just something for you to think about. Um, let's see what the Lenormand has to say. We have, what is this? This is the card that wanted to pop out. So this is the bridge. It's the bridge. Well, it's like what? The bridge of love. <laughs> um, we have the compass. I love it. You're still searching. That's for sure. And the key. Oh, yeah. You are definitely still searching. I feel like the Lenormand, um, the Lenormand is showing you are still searching. The bridge, for one, is like the journey still. I love that. This is really reminding me of a keyhole. I don't know if you could, whoop, where is this? I don't know if you could see that, but that little hole in the bridge, doesn't that look like a keyhole? <laughs> so think of it as a keyhole. You're still looking for that person to unlock the bridge to walk through. It's like you're that troll that's saying you will not pass until you have the key. You're the right one. Look at, we pulled the key card for you right here. Ooh, there we go. The key card. And then we have the bird cage that has a little rose inside. To me, it's kind of like saying you're very much protecting of your heart. And you are looking for that right person who's going to unlock your heart. So symbolic. And then we have the compass, which is still, to me, is a sign of searching and so as far as this person goes, like I said, I don't feel that this is the one. This person is a good person to have, you know, nice conversations with and to go out with and, you know, just to have plans with someone because you shouldn't be 100% like not going out and not dating. But, you know, don't don't go dating thinking that every person you date is going to be the one um, because that's not the case. But it doesn't mean just that you can't date because they're not the one, you know what I mean? So don't do that to yourself, but I feel like the compass is symbolizing your journey, your search is not over. You are still searching. Beautiful cards. And then let's see what the, um, what's it called? The Oracle of Oddities, release. <laughs> so I feel like release is like they're saying, um, 
there it's saying a couple things release you know your feelings your worries release you know the doubts maybe maybe this is that's why this card was making me feel like give it a chance you could do that release or this could also be a symbol of this this you will be releasing this person eventually this person will no longer be in your dating life um you guys will outgrow one another um uh, we have beginning beautiful so it's kind of showing the freshness of this relationship that you guys are just in the beginning phases getting to know each other and then hope so again with the hope card um and this card well, cards it. And the planting the seeds you know if you really feel connected to this person and you feel like you know what i'm going to give them some chance i'm going to give them a chance i'm going to give them time they may turn around and surprise you. They may say, you know, I'm ready for this. Or they may start changing their actions. Maybe they are giving you this feeling. They feel flighty. They feel like indecisive because you um, are, they like maybe they notice that you are putting on a face. Maybe they can sense that about you. You know, they can sense that you're hiding something. So maybe they are feeling like, oh, I can't 100% invest because you aren't either. So, it, you know, that's something to think about too. This can go both ways. Um, they could be tapping into your own energies and, and, and catching you being very, um, sketchy, like, well, if you're not going to give me 100%, why am I going to give you 100%? That kind of thing. <clears throat> so let's just see. Um, let's pull. Because I we have, what, 21 minutes? I want to give you some more time. So since we pulled on all of that and we basically, you know, I gave you the advice for this. Let's just pull um, for the future. Let's just pull on love and let's let's focus on um, my client's inability to like why is my client making face? Why does my client make it so hard for this one wants to come out? Why does my client make it so hard to unlock their heart? That's what I want to know. Because it was very obvious in the reading that you were very cautious and very careful. We have the king of water that wanted to pop out. We have five of earth, or I'm sorry, five of fire, eight of air, two of fire, body, mind, six of earth, the scribe. you're looking for balance in a relationship and you're looking for balance you're looking for someone who's very similar to you um and i see that with the five of um the five of fire normally this is a card of um conflict or a battle or fighting but i'm really seeing it very sexually um i'm seeing it as just finding that that other half of you that is they're very much the same. So as far as finding someone who's the complete opposite of you, um, that doesn't really, that isn't attractive to you. It's kind of like you're looking for another equal. You're looking for balance. You're looking for someone who can handle you um, and who you can handle, you know. So you're, you're looking for another fiery, because like I said, you were coming off as the queen of fire. And I see that here too. Lots of fire, lots of like heat passion you know very like intense sexual energy um it's just somebody who's just as motivated as you are because you are definitely a very motivated individual you are very much fueled by your passions um but you need someone who's going to be kind of an equal so do you kind of see that isn't that amazing so i'm feeling like that's what you're holding out for you will give anyone a chance though i mean this 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 person that you're currently dating maybe you sensed that um you guys weren't completely the same or, you know, you had a little bit of a differences here and there, but you were going to give it a shot anyway. Um, but I do feel like you're, you're really much looking for that passion, that like fiery person that can just align with who you are. Um, the balance, the reason why I was saying balance is because of this eight of air. I'm really seeing the balance in this for the swords. There's like one upright, one down. 
Um, it's kind of like what you're evenly, what you're willing to give in, you're going to receive. So you want a person who is going to give equal amount of energy back to you from what you give to them. And you don't want to feel like you're the person that's always giving, giving or trying in a relationship because you want to make sure that person is going to, you know, give back what you deserve. I feel like that also aligns with an ex. Um, so feeling like you were the, the one that had to always put in the work. Um, nurturing and, and putting in all of that love and the concern and this person didn't so I feel like that's kind of traumatized you it's kind of like that is a necessity for you in, in the future in love um, and that's what you look out for I also feel like that's also why you are very hesitant to open up and unlock your heart because um, you don't want to give the best of you away right away um, because not everybody deserves that not everybody deserves the best of you you got the, the king of water. So when we're pulling about um, like why you are, you might, you make it so hard to unlock your heart. King of water is very passionate. King of water is full of emotion and they are all about love. They're all about understanding, you know, they are the epitome of, of your heart. <laughs> and so to receive that is just showing when you love, you love hard. Um, and the fact that you are coming up naturally as very fire energy to come up with the king of water, which is the complete opposite element of that. When it when basically this is showing when you are in love, you are you turn to water. It's like your fire is burnt out. You are very vulnerable. Um, so that's what I'm seeing there. I just I feel I'm just feeling like you need <clears throat> balance. You need to find someone who's going to be um, just like you. The balance, like you're here, we have the body and mind. The balance of body and mind. Very important for you. Very necessary. Oops. Yeah. Um, you struggle with loyalty. Let me get my card. Ugh. The little dog came up, um, which is a sign of loyalty, but you struggle with that. You struggle with somebody, you know, they start off, when you meet someone, they start off with, you know, the gifts, the flowers, giving you the flowers, giving you the love notes, blah, 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 blah. And then it fades, you know, and that's natural. Like that stuff does fade. And we, we're not always in that mode when we're with in relationships, but it is nice to have someone appreciate you a lot you know from time to time and that you lose that and so I feel like that was also another fear is like if you give your all and you become this like sensitive king of water when you're normally a fiery you know masculine fiery energy like it's hard for you to be vulnerable for someone that you don't know if they're going to deserve it. So being loyal is like, I feel like you often will feel like you are the one that's always putting in the effort. Um, you are always wanting to, you know, play with me, give me attention, look at me, love me, you know, like this little, the little puppy is. So I do feel like you, you don't want to put yourself in that situation with just anyone. It's really hard for you. So you will put on a face and you will put on a mask. Um, and then this one is kind of showing, like, to me, it's like, you, you, I'm getting, like, the vibe with this card of, like, to be beaten in the past. Now, I'm not saying, like, literally, like, you were beaten in the past, but I'm just saying, like, to be beat up through love. You've gone through this and that. You've gone through a lot of hardships. You've gone through a lot of, like, you know, the pain, the suffering, the, the, the hurt. Um, you don't want to go through that again. And if you can spare your heart from going through that, um, you will. So that's why I feel it's very important for you to put on that face. And so I'm not saying that that's a bad thing that you're doing that, but I am saying you got to kind of open up a little bit more to give them more in order to see what happens. Love is a risk and you are taking a risk with every relationship that you come into contact with. Um, but it doesn't mean that you will get hurt every single time. So take it how it is. Um, I feel like, you know, you're doing just fine. Give this person a chance. And if you continue to feel like it's just not going anywhere, it isn't what you feel aligned with, then you 100% can call it quits. You don't have to be locked into this forever. Um, but see what happens. You know, this person might surprise you or you may find someone else completely randomly. I mean, love happens that way. So 
Thank you so much for allowing me to read for you. I hope that this answered your questions. Um, I hope that it gave you some insight. Anyone who's watching, this is the love reading. It is available in my shop. Um, check it out and I will see you guys later. Bye guys.